I'm Anthony. I'm a sales engineer with CodeFresh. And today we're going to walk through doing a deployment on your cluster using the CodeFresh hosted runtime in under five minutes. So to get things kicked off, I'm going to go ahead and click this button, which is going to start provisioning my hosted runtime. To follow along with this video, you're just going to need a Kubernetes cluster as well as an account on GitHub. So to make things very easy to follow, we've also included a demo repository, which you can fork into your own account and follow along. One thing to notice about this repository is that within the Argo CD definition manifest, we've got a few placeholders, namely for your GitHub user, your GitHub repo, and the name of the cluster in which you'd like to deploy to. So while our runtime is installed, what we can do is go ahead and fork this repository over. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it local. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to actually need to update those files. So to do that, we can go ahead and clone our repository. Enter into our repo. So CD. And within our repository, we actually have a directory called push. And within that, we have a few files that will update the git files. And we have different files depending on whether you're running on Mac or Linux. So I'm going to select the right version. It's going to ask me for my username. Next, it's going to ask me for the name of the repo which I have worked over. And the last thing it's going to ask me is going to be the name of my Kubernetes cluster, which is right up here. Okay. So what the script is going to do is go ahead and update all of my manifests uh, so that the placeholders match my actual values, and it's going to push that into a new commit. Okay. So I can now come in, and I'll see that my Argo CD manifests have all the correct information. So now that that's completed, I can watch for my host. I can just wait for my hosted runtime to finish installing. Right. Now that my hosted runtime is finished installing, my next step is going to be to authorize access with GitHub. If you have a new account, it might ask you to manually supply your personal access token. In my case, I can just hit authorize since I've already supplied that. It's going to show me the repos it creates, and I'm going to just come in here and click create. That'll take just a second. Now that that's completed, I, my final step is going to be to connect the Kubernetes cluster I want to deploy to. Now, if, I don't, if you don't have the CLI installed already, you can find the instructions to do that here as well. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to run this command and add my host cluster. Right context. And this is going to take a second and just apply some files to my managed cluster so that my hosted runtime can manage it. Okay. While that'll take just a second to get synced up. And while that's happening, what I'm going to do is add a Git source to my runtime. So a Git source is going to be a any GitHub repository, which you would like your applications to be synced from. So I'm going to enter a local name. Cool. I'm going to select the repository that I forked. I'm going to enter my branch in my name. And so keep in mind, you're always going to want to enter the path where your ap actual application manifests lie. I'm going to hit create. And this is going to add my Git source. As soon as my Git source is created, I should see an application with this name getting created. Yes, and I see hosted demo five minutes. I can see that my application is progressing. So that means that my deployment is complete. Um, the applications have begun to deploy onto my target cluster. So now that my deployment is actually complete, I can actually come in here and double check everything. So I can see if I open one of my applications and I go into the current state tab, I can see all of the all the Kubernetes components associated with my application. So then if I go into my cluster, I should be able to see the same things. All right, I can see everything. So within five minutes, um, my application was deployed and I was able to confirm all the resources in my cluster. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope I'll see you next time.